Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be reviewing a few foundations of mine and one that I purchased, but it's not, I don't use personally, but it's good enough to do a review on it. Today I'll be reviewing a couple of foundations that are my favorites, which actually they're, they're all my favorites. Or else I wouldn't be buying them and using them. Um, the first one I'll probably be reviewing is the Dior Nude Air. Then the Bare Minerals Bare Skin. You can tell I like this one. And the Bare Minerals Original Foundation, I believe. Yeah, original. Because there's original, there's not. But I like both. And then the final one will be the Complexion Rescue, which I do not use, but I um, have a thorough, thorough process with it, if that makes sense. So I'm like I said, I'm going to start off with the first one, which is the oh, Dirty Counter. I just did my makeup. Dior Skin nude air serum the tint and this one is amazing i'm in color something i'm in color 040 dior nude air oh that's not the color the color is 040 miel slash honey beige and the packaging looks like this very diorish very <laughs> and the applicator or i should say the way the little topper is it's a dropper which obviously you can't just like it's a little messy if you're like trying to pop it on even though I actually have done that and it's never been messy or I've added too much let me show you the consistency of it as you can tell I've used it for almost about a month and a half and I haven't really used much because literally all you need is a few drops that's the consistency it's thinner than like I want to see I was gonna say water the water is pretty thin this isn't as thin but it's not thick. You put this on and it feels like air. I'm literally, it feels like air. Like, um, I'm gonna compare this next to another one once I'm done with that review. Because I can't tell you this one and if I haven't told you what the other one is, why is it good? So this one basically, um, the finish is matte. Actually not matte, it's like matte velvet. Meaning it's soft, but it's not like drying. It's amazing and I have really, 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 really dry skin. So this one is amaze balls. It's amaze balls because it cannot you cannot feel it. It can be sweating, you can be sweating, and it will not come off. It will not look greasy. On dry skin, it doesn't look greasy. And I'm telling you this, if it sticks to my skin amazingly. People with oily skin, I would probably recommend. People with matured skin, I'd recommend. And this one doesn't cling on to your dry patches, even though it's like a like a velvet matte finish, it doesn't cling on. So it's amazing and this is the what it looks like and the price for this one is i believe 53 don't judge me don't judge me the next one i'll be reviewing are the um next to number one so my next dior skin favorites oh, they're all my favorites i don't know why i keep on saying that is the bare minerals of bare skin which looks like this and i have two i actually have gone three i believe these are what I have left. Um, I brought, tried these out when it came out, and nobody really had. Everybody was like, I either hate it or I love it kind of thing. So I had to try it out for myself because I actually don't trust online reviews. If that makes sense, I like video reviews. That's why I'm doing it, so I can actually know why people didn't like it versus I didn't like it. A comment, you know. So this one is in Bear Honey 15. This was in Bear Tan 13. Clearly, I stay in the yellow warm tones since it's 13 15 and this is what they look like on the application one i'll show you it's like this and the only problem i have with this one is it's never spilled none of my fetishes have ever spilled in my bag or anything like when i'm traveling going back at home because it's like we live in sacramento i constantly have to like throw them back throw them in my bag throw them back out put them back in its container put it back forth back forth and that little thing it's right there i toss them back and forth and they've never spoke but my problem is that since this one you have to like oh see it's doing it right now it's doing it right now it sometimes it comes out by itself like this is like i think the bottle has to do, like the way it comes out has to do something with like how much air is in there because it'll drop a few drops and sometimes it'll like you have to really shake it it says well this foundation you have the shake well as well as the dior one but this one you really have to shake girl so you're gonna get like some weird consistency of like 
oil and foundation, which it doesn't, I don't actually don't think it's made with oils or something like that. I don't have the box with me. But this one feels amazing. This one and this one almost have the same um, consistency, except this is going to sound weird. This one is a little thicker than this one, but yet you still can't feel it. Like, I do not like foundations that you can feel. Like, Kat Von D, any Kat Von D foundation concealer, I love Kat Von D. But I would never be able to wear her foundations because they're too thick for me. I don't like them. These may be, like, you cannot feel them. They literally feel like you're putting water on your face. Not even water, like, better than water. You can't feel them. And you get a matte finish. Like, a completely full cover finish. And actually, like I said, that one's a matte velvet finish. And this one's actually a dewy finish. But you could actually make this into a matte finish with just basically adding powder and whatnot. And then I actually do have the mineral feel that comes with this but i'm not a big fan of that one i didn't like it i prefer the original mineral wheel that comes for the powdered foundations so yeah um i should probably number these for the first one i would give it a 10 but what i forgot to mention about this one is it is not full coverage the first time you put it on you do have to build this this is buildable this is like this is like a medium coverage Sheer to medium coverage, but I make it I make it full coverage. Trust me, I'm like they say sheer to medium, sheer to medium because that's like a, full, a couple of drops. You keep on adding this baby like a good five drops. You're gonna have some full coverage foundation, but you really should swatch this in the store and see whether you like it or not. Because some people automatically just swatch it and be like, nope, not enough coverage, and that was not me the first time. The first time I was like, okay, it comes off a little sheer but i can work with it and you just basically just build it up when you're putting it on and you can add like probably like half of this bottle on your face and you will not feel it you will not feel it so yeah and this would probably be like a 10 in mine and then this one would be a nine for like one tenth scale a nine because i love it i love it but it did take me about a week to get the application right kind of just putting on my face because it did at the beginning it did stick to my dry patches it really did not really like too bad but like i kind of just had to work with it i feel like it doesn't sound weird my skin adjusted to the foundation not my, the foundation adjusted to my skin and i'm and i mean that in a good way like they it stuck to my skin beautifully this one you cannot feel like you literally cannot feel like you look at the consistency you think oh, this is gonna be cakey it's not cakey it's not it's not so yeah that's why i have two of them because i love it it's like a nine i'll give it a ten but i'm gonna give it a nine because of the packaging the packaging and the fact that i needed some work to get to and then i'm not just a liquid foundation because i was a lit originally actually a powder foundation and this isn't a justification for the original because i got the deluxe christmas edition which is like um 18 grams which is 0 0.6 ounces which is a lot of foundation i don't know whenever we're gonna finish it but i got this in a range from about three shades and bare minerals depending on the year in summer i definitely go darker in winter i go like about a shade or two lighter and this is a medium tan c30 and i love it because people don't really people when people try out they switch from like mac to bare minerals expect this to be like oh one swipe on the face and it's gonna be full coverage no, like this one is buildable, but the thing is, like when I say when bare minerals, you can build it, build it, build it, and you won't look cakey, and you won't feel it. Like you will not feel it. That's what it kind of looks like. And this, I kind of, this is a misleading thing because I don't like the way it kind of falls out. But the original ones in the smaller package have a click lock and go thing, which I can actually show you from another product. Ignore my messy. This is a mineral wheel I was talking about that I prefer for the bare skin. This is the mineral wheel that I got. That's what the original packaging for the original foundations. This is just a deluxe. This is like, this is not what they always look like. Um, this heavy. This is like extravagant packaging. And it was amazing. I just had a happy little party like this. And this is what they, oh, I left it open. It's click. Lock and go. So 
basically this is really 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 amazing traveling because I've never I've never ever had any spillage with it any spillage with it so this is what the original packaging actually looks like the size and everything and this is in 9 grams 0 0.3 ounces and this is in 18 so this is literally double the product and in here it's just the packaging that makes it look bigger but it's amazing um i want to say i had one of these the foundations in this size it lasted me it lasted three to six months and i used every single day monday through friday or seven days a week actually i talk about i used them like every single day and i would wear this one because it vary from whatever day if it's hot i wear powder if it's like a mild day i wear liquid and then it just it depends on the day so but when i used to consistently use powder this would last me three to six months that's what i'm saying this one's gonna take me forever to even go through it. it's gonna be like just there for a display because it's beautiful and this one basically full coverage you do have to build it one layer and then keep going to add more layers and more layers and more layers like i said this one you can add so many layers and you won't feel it it feels amazing you literally can't feel it and i would give this one i'm gonna give this one a 10 because it's amazing it's amazing you don't look ashy you don't look cakey you don't look anything and it just looks amazing like it just literally feels like you're rubbing the brushes on it and this one i use also for the bare skin of dior i use this type of brush the bare minerals perfecting face you're gonna learn that i love bare mineral brushes and then for the bare minerals powder foundation mineral foundation foundation can't even speak i use the um bare minerals perfecting face version i think of that it's like a fuller bigger version i don't remember what it's called but i use the powdered foundation brush for that so that's that and the last one we're reviewing is actually something i is also another bare minerals you can tell bare minerals girl you can just tell um bare minerals complexion rescue which is i don't personally use but my sister uses it and she's giving me pretty much good reviews on this um we live together in our parents house obviously so um I actually tried it out and I love it because you can't feel it. It's like a moisturizer that disappears but leaves you some light coverage. And this is for, for people who want some coverage, not too much, or are just barely going into makeup and also want some protection for their skin because this is Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream Broad Spectrum SPF 30. Oh, and actually all the other ones have um, SPF, the algae, like 20 or 25. This one has 30. And this is applicator and never once to touch an issue um, with spillage or anything. So yeah, this is great for like beginners or basically preteens for the moms that want to get their preteens foundation but not completely get them caked. Although every single foundation I recommend, I would recommend it to anybody of any age. And for moms that kind of want their child, you know, their daughters or whoever is looking for new foundations to try. Um, if you're a little hesitant, well, those would be good ones. But this one I would recommend for every single age and every single stage. And she has it in tan 07. She, she likes this because it doesn't separate, it doesn't cake or anything. You can actually just apply this with your fingers if you would like. So for this one, I'm going to have to give it a 7 and an 8. 7 or 8 because I don't personally use it. And this is a light coverage, but not too much coverage. And I love my coverage. So this is perfect for if you love light coverage, it's going to be a 10 for you. If you love full coverage, this is going to be like a 7 because this is more like you're going to the beach but you still want some coverage coverage and you want to feel like, ugh, gross. So yeah, that concludes the review of all my foundations from the new Dior Air, which is actually fairly new, the Bare Minerals Bare Skin, the Bare Minerals powdered foundation and the bare minerals complexion rescue so i hope you guys like this and if you like me review or kind of swatch anything else please let me know in the description or not the description the comments <laughs> thanks for watching